last time on Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Alright, I'm on the right one. Let's see if this is the right one to go on. No pun intended. Actually, there was a pun intended there. We. Oh, really? Really? Okay, that was just stupid. Yeah, screw you, enemy. What? What? I can't do her voice. I really can't. It's like a really annoying old lady English accent. And it's just... Yeah. Eggman theme. Egg Golem angry. Apparently, he the Egg Golem angry. Egg Golem insulted. No! Ooh, dirty double crosser. Controls on it are so wonky. Alright, so where the crap is it? There it is. I'm stupid. Yeah, space controls in this game aren't very fun. Alright, we figured it out. It's a good thing I figured it out, too, otherwise I was gonna go nuts. Three colored containers. Three missile launch pads. Form the red, or, yeah, from the red light balcony, the fallen black container. Alright, I'm lost. Uh, leave it to a rouge level to get me confused. So apparently, it's gotta be somewhere around right here. Aha! Oh, darn it! I was just on. Okay, see the emerald? Oh, there's the emerald. Right there. Grab the thing. Thank you! My god, that took... Yeah, you shouldn't be ashamed. The developer should be ashamed. Good grief, those controls. And now for the continuation. Hey, everybody. So I'm Dude the Fourth, and this is Let's Play some Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. The reason I have not started the beginning of this stage is because once I barely started this stage, my capture card decided to crash on me. So I just decided to go ahead and just continue on from here. Hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me, but you guys didn't really miss much. Now then, the thing about this stage is that Eggman's hover allows him to float quite heavily because, well, we're in space. So therefore, logical logic is logic. Oh, that was redundant, but oh well. It's like things are actually making sense in this game for a change. Who knew? Well, let's grab this checkpoint. Checkpoints are important. Uh, you want to destroy those pyramids. To destroy the pyramid, all you really have to do is just shoot it three times. And it'll blow up. Or is that a TP? I don't know. I don't really get the point of those uh, pyramids, so... Destroy a lot of them! Whoa! I'm Eggman. I'm evil, creepy laugh. Die, people! Yo! I'm making the jumping noise. Yosh. Yoshi. Let's kill you off. Now I know somewhere around here there's an optional power-up. But we'll want to grab that power-up. Because it'll be very helpful later on. Not just for now, but for later if you catch my drift. I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, it'll be helpful later on. So here we go. Hey, uh, rabbit. Did that take four hits to destroy, or did I just miss it? I think I just missed it. Alright, here we go. Alright, we'll land here. Love these blocks. I think it's a little bit lower. Oh, there it is. I want to land on this block right here, hit the missile, and this leads to a power-up called Protection Armor. Alright, reinforces egg bonkers, bodies, armor against damage, health gauge is increased. So yeah, so we now have more health because of this protective armor. This is very useful. We want to grab this before we continue on through the story because that's going to be, well, pretty helpful later on. So now this is the fun part. All you really do in this part, you just aim and shoot. It's really fun. It's really relaxing too. Because all you really have to do is just aim and shoot at everything. Destroy everything. And blow stuff up. And blow up more stuff right over here. And blow 
all up. Just destroy and aim at everything that you can aim at. Oh, darn it. So if you get hit, you lose all your tracks. So just go ahead, aim at everything, shoot everything down. Nice. You get a lot of points in that area. So now we just have to destroy pyramids. And fly up everywhere. Going up. Alright. So let's go up even more. Blow you up. And go up this way. Whoa! Yeah, we want rings. Okay, we need rings, actually. Let's blow all these up. There we go. That's more useful. And blow these up. Uh, I would have done more on him, but... Uh, I just needed to get through this. Or I just needed to get past him without dying. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, hang on. Everybody just relax now. Everybody aiming at me. I'd rather not die, thank you. Now these blue, these brown ones are different. These take two hits to kill you. So in a way, they give you more points, but killing less enemies. So it really just depends on how you want to do it. Uh, let's come up here. Destroy more. Oh. And just go ahead and destroy that. And destroy these. Because why not? Because blowing things up is fun. Everybody likes blowing things up. I like blowing things up. <laughs> Come on, let's go this way. Go up. Just run into the asteroids in order to destroy them. But yeah, I like Eggman stages a lot more because there's a lot more of just aiming and shooting and point grinding rather than tails, where it's just puzzles, kind of. Or tricks, or something. I also like uh, Knuckles' stages better than Ryuji's stages because they're typically more straightforward than Rouge's. Rouge, you just have to do extra things, and it's just rather annoying, to be honest. Or like the Mad Space stage. Mad Space is right, but it shouldn't be mad for that reason, though. Anyway, we're going up some more. Now blow this up. Whoa! Alright, alright, all right, hang on. Alright, glad we made that. That would have been annoying otherwise. And up we go. It's kind of cool how far up Eggman can fly in a second on the stage. It makes hovering rather useful, actually. Well, more useful than it already is. And blow that up. And let's ride up this thing, blow everything up around me. And then we get to go over yet another one. Hang on, let's grab the coins. Then we get to go up yet over another one. Whoa! And blow things up, and destroy everything. Alright, we get to do another point gathering thing, except there's a lot more in this one, so this is gonna be pretty fun. This stage kinda takes a while, but that's okay. This is a fun stage, so I don't mind it taking a while. It's literally a shooter on rails, kinda like Star Fox, except there are literally rails. Destroy everything! And in everywhere, fire. And all around, fire. Oh, this part. This part, you just have to kind of aim behind you and keep shooting. And it's kind of annoying because you can't see what you're doing. And basically, you just keep spamming the B button and shooting at it. 
Don't let it hit you. Just keep spamming the B button and shooting it. Eventually, all the thing with Jake will fall off. And you will destroy it. Running right into the ring. There we go. Problem solved. We got 55,000 points. Hmm, that wasn't so difficult. This is the only stage I've ever seen where you can get 56,000 points and then get a C rank. I guess it must have taken too long with the stage. Nonetheless, we made it. Hooray. Arc Research Lab, Canon Countdown 33 minutes. Don, why do they always leave a sweet little innocent girl like me alone? Well, well, young lady. Is there something I can help you with? I have a gun pointed at a lady. You will tell me where Sonic and Tails are. It appears they're trying to get up there. Meanwhile, later on, after Tails' and Sonic's mission. There's a lot more cutscenes in the Dark Side of the Story. There's also a lot more time skips. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. Oh my. In the old fake emerald, I can kill two birds with one stone. Sonic, we can hear you. Turn off your microphone. Put the emerald down right there and back off. Time, Somebody got cocky. <laughs> Three, two, one. Whoa! You thought you could trick me with that fake empty, didn't you? So, how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails! <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. Well, actually, he knew that there was a fake. I guess he couldn't tell the difference because my tail said. But a machine can't tell the difference. So, he knew there was a fake in existence, he just couldn't tell which is which. So I guess that comment now makes sense. Farewell, Sonic the Hedgehog! Hooray, we destroy Sonic the Hedgehog once and for all. Evil finally wins! It's kind of sad that your admiral adversary was a a hedgehog. I will release you both. You have my promise. Sonic. Uh huh. Sonic asked me for the first time to do something for him. I won't let him down. I won't give up. Well, looks like Tails is pretty angry. Looks like we're gonna have to stop that. And my dogs are barking. Let's not bark, shall we? Sonic. I'll never forgive you for this. I'll never forgive you for this. I'm gonna see shooting at Tails. Tails has special attacks like Eggman did. Also, Tails has a more upgraded version of the homing laser. Fire out of power laser! You I'll make you Run away! Destroy ta- oh crap. Whoa! Get out of there. Sucker punch! Yeah, I just sucker punched you. Sucker punch for the win. It's kinda lame though, his uh, close range attack is just a boxing glove punched out of his machine. It's like boing! Oh, well, anyway, we won. I guess he was just a regular hedgehog after all. Oh. I suppose. Because when all seven Chaos Emeralds are collected, the power creates a miracle. I have six of them. They're mine. Oh, my. I don't think so. Busted. Or was it a direct order from the president? Now I know who you are. You're the government spy, Rouge the Bat, aren't you? Oh, so we are working for the government. So you did your homework, is that it? I would say that's an invasion of privacy. I can say oh, the same really? thing about you. 
looks like things aren't quite going your way. But since my job is done, I thought it was time to take what's mine and get out of this place. You are one pathetic creature. Hmm. Look who's talking. What about you? Here are the results of the research project called the Ultimate Life Form. But if this picture is of the real Ultimate Life Form, named Shadow, then exactly who or what is standing in front of me? Well, that's a creepy looking dinosaur thing, though. I hope that we never, ever, 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 ever have to deal with. If you want to live, leave the Chaos Emeralds where they are. The fake emerald is good enough for you. Do you actually right. believe that you're the real shadow? No Even doubt. Even your memories might not be real, you know? Even if my memories are not real, it's still me, Shadow. And I will fulfill my promise to you. That's the only thing that matters. That does lead to some questions as to what Shadow is. I think they explain that in later games. But as for right now, we're using Shadow in order to get to the end of the stage. If you thought Sonic's stage was bad, uh, yeah, this stage is a lot worse. This stage is going to make you nuts. Drive me nuts, please. And I'm a pretty patient person at times. To a degree. Alright, so these cylinder things have an automatic gravity thing that attracts to them. All you really have to do is not fall up and die. Wait, that was my last light. Well, I just got my first game over in this entire Let's Play. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was annoying. Hadn't gotten a game over yet, I was hoping I'd get through this entire game without getting a game over. Or if I was going to get a game over, I was expecting it to be somewhere a little bit more difficult than this. And believe it or not, there is such a place. Enough for some stupid reason as to flying off the edge and missing the mushroom either. Coming up. Whoa, alright, alright. Enjoy that. My dog's gonna go off, and why don't you just homing attack like you're supposed to? There's an enemy, obviously, you want to homing attack that. Alright, so, these cylinders go in different directions. These ones go where the- well, actually, all these go to where the arrow is pointing. So, as long as you're used to that, then you know how to work the stage. Uh wait for that to blow up because I imagine that was going to be annoying. Bounce off that. Then we get to go on these cylinders. These cylinders are fun because you just gotta jump and go to the next gravity in line. Oh, thank you. Thank you for launching your missiles at me. That's very much appreciated. I love it when things like that happen. Not really. Whoa! Yeah, that was a yeah, that's not cheap placement at all, game. Not at all whatsoever. Let's dodge these fences like a pro. Like a boss. And checkpoints, alright. Up we go. Die. I think in this one there's a life. Yes, there is. Alright. Uh, that's the thing I mistook for uh, Sonic's thing and his stage is similar to this. Was I didn't know there were two exits in, in uh, Sonic's, but only one in Shadow's. What? I'm sorry, but that's completely ridiculous. You just launched me off the edge. It's like, oh hey bro, guess what, you missed a thing that you really have no control over, and now you die because of it. No. No. Oh, thank god that was close. I was about to die for a minute there, to be honest. Hello, penguin. Penguins! 
I like penguins. Penguins! Ah, uh, that's enough of the penguin references. Alright, just climb up here. Thank you. And head over up here. We can do some good shortcuts by doing this. And dodge you. Climb up as far as you can. Jump over to this. Climb up here. And apparently we get the Mystic Thing by accident. Mystic Melody! Same thing as Sonic's Mystic Melody. You just hit the Y button in order to choose Mystic Melody. And jump in here and it'll warp you to where you need to go. Alright. So the one difference about Shadow and Sonic is that Shadow doesn't have the bounce ability, unlike Sonic. Why they don't decide to give Shadow the bounce ability, I have honestly no idea. I thought that they would give him the bounce ability because they're trying to make the characters as similar to each other as possible. Yeah, we want to grab the checkpoint. Checkpoints in this stage are very important. Speed is what's needed. And somersaulting right after you get off a rail is not an example of such. Bounce, rails, more rails. Alright, let's not die, shall we? Oh, camera. Alright, thank you. Alright, so these have no way to access the top of them, so you just have to kind of jump over. Whoa! Okay. That's not annoying at all whatsoever. It's kind of stupid, actually. If you ask me. This stage is actually kind of difficult, though. So that's not to be... Really? Ah, uh, dark side stages. You annoy me like none other. Whoa! Alright, alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Camera control. Thank you. Thank you for the camera control. Jump over to these. And let's not die like a doofus. Dying like a doofus is not allowed. Checkpoint, thank god. And climb up here as far as we can. Oh, I thought I was about to be on a choice of rails. Alright. Whoa! Thank you! I love it whenever I die because of meteors. Uh, okay, I reached it. Rings. Good. We reached the rings. Alright, let's go on the rail. Slowly but carefully. Because the rail catching system thing is not that good. To be honest. To be completely honest, it is not. Uh, let's see where this rail takes us. Alright, this takes us to more spinny cylinder things. I like these spinny cylinder things. I, I like the whole spinny cylinder mechanic thing. It's kind of a funny it's kind of a fun idea. I enjoy it, but not whenever they glitch out. Reverse course, sweet. Or, you know, just go this way. That works. Alright, so now we're continuing forward, bounce. Continuing forward, bounce. Why did I end up over here? No! Now I have no rings. Alright, thank goodness. I survived. I was about to die for a minute there. Alright, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. Please don't hit any more enemies, because that is not necessary at this time. Go forward, alright. Does Shadow know how to destroy steel blocks? I don't think he does. Now that I think about it, I don't think he has that ability. 
That's kind of weird. Well, there's the end of the level. Nonetheless. Thank goodness. Bum bum ba. I guess I'm not at full power here. I suppose not. But man, that stage was annoying. Well, I think I would normally end things up here, but there's only one more boss battle to go. You all know what that boss battle is. I know where this boss battle is. We're doing this boss battle again. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know what can I say? I die hard. You mean Die Hard 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5? What are you anyway? He's a hedgehog. Alright, good versus evil, bad versus good, Shadow versus Sonic, yet again, except the outcome this time will be different. This time it shall be Shadow who wins. Alright, Shadow, time for me to finish this. Alright, that's one hit, but of course these hits are the easy hits. Don't get too relaxed, boys. Those were the easy ones. Yes, Sonic knows how to use Chaos Control, and that's how he gets back on stage. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, let's grab rings. Continue forward. Whoa. Alright, that was close. I, I was afraid I was gonna die for this there. This battle is very annoying. Chaos Control! Chaos control. I'm not speaking that much in this battle for some reason. Speed dash. Alright, so that's an example of how you can use a light dash to run right in through him when he reappears. And I've only done that a few times and I'm glad I was able to show that on camera just to prove that you can indeed do it. Yeah, uh, just jump for a longer period of time if you need to. But now it's the top and final hit. Alright, die. Die, Sonic the Hedgehog. Although I could have used these lives earlier. There we go. I failed. I told you I'm the ultimate. And we defeated Sonic the frickin' Hedgehog. I don't think it took as long as it did before, but still. Countdown, 40 seconds. <laughs> this completes my plan to take over the world. Now begins the glorious era of the Empire of Eggman. Alright, so we win. We got all seven Chaos Emeralds, and we took over the world. <laughs> the world belongs to Eggman. Long live the Eggman Empire. Wait a minute, there's a warning. What does that mean? Well, that's the end of the story for you. Or end of the dark story for you. But, this can't really be the end of the game, can it? I mean, after all, there are two different things. The first ending is Sonic flooding the fake emerald and slam dunking it into the Death Star. The second ending is Eggman, like, actually getting all seven Chaos Emeralds in order to get into the Eclipse Cannon for it to fire. Well, for those of you who don't know, or haven't figured it out already, this is not the end of the story, and this is not the finale. This is sort of the finale. What we're about to do after this is get to the true finale. But, however, before we begin the true finale, there are a few things I want to get first. 
a few preparations I want to make, and a few power-ups I want to get for everybody before we begin this finale. Because these power-ups are going to help a lot, and we're going to need them. One of those power-ups was that protective armor that I got for Eggman. So luckily, I grabbed that while I still could. Uh, as we continue on forward... Uh, let's see, I need power-ups for... Eggman, Tails... Uh, Knuckles... I think that's about it. Yeah. Because I don't think Shadow needs any more power-ups. And... Sonic has all the power necessary power-ups he needs. Rouge has, I think, all... I don't think Rouge has the same power-up I'm thinking of that Knuckles gets. So I need to get one power-up for Knuckles, one power... a couple of power-ups for Tails, and a couple of power-ups for Eggman. Or maybe just one each. And they're kind of the same thing. The first power-up I need to get... Uh, for Tails and Eggman both, is their homing attack power-up, which has a further spread than their normal one. I can get this easily in two different respective stages. Uh, I think it's their first stage each, respectively, that they have together. The second, or the third power-up that I need is for Knuckles, and I need to go to the Aquatic Mines for this. And what he gets is what is known as an ox oxygen mask, and that'll make him breathe underwater longer than normal, which would be very useful. Let's just say it's very useful for an upcoming mission. Otherwise, you'll just have to keep frantically finding bubbles everywhere. And it'll make things a lot easier. So, that's one. So that's the third power I'm going to get. If there are any more that I can think of, I'll post them now. But anyway, thus ends the dark side of the story. The dark side of the hedgehog. But, there's a warning. So what shall happen now? If this is not the true finale, how does the story actually end? Well, we'll find that out next time. Maybe. Let's watch this. I didn't do the hero side whenever I defeated it last time, so I'm, I'll show this for you guys now. Select scenes from the dark story. Yeah, time attack in the dark story. Boss stages. New two pair of stages, all before I've been unlocked. The ultimate life form of chaos, chaos vengeance, desperation, super sonic, collision, untamed power, Maria, chaos, and Professor Christ Gerald, the, the truth source. about 50 the years ago. Everything. Sonic Adventure 2, last episode. Wishes are eternal. Well, there you have it. That begins the final arc for Ep Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. But we shall do that next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. See you guys later. God bless. Thank you for watching. So long, everybody.